guys it is good to be back otherwise my name is don't be mrs t zuko whatever 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 you like oh snap it is good to be back as you know i did discuss about teaching online and a lot of you guys have been asking so many questions but it also seems like you guys were not watching because you continue asking me questions which are in the video so do me do yourself a favor first go watch that video so you can understand this video so basically today is a continuation yes the english otherwise if you would like to order a satin bonnet um this is satin bonnet from z world they make these satin bonnets and one thing i do like is they have the stretch thing at the back which you can make it as tight as you can even when i'm deep conditioning my hair it is balsa wena i don't know what that means but <laughs> yeah um so you can order you can find them on instagram and facebook you can dm them they're very affordable and the quality is snappy <laughs> Even a um, satin bonnet dokiabo is amazing. I use those for my hair, for my afro, because you know I just have natural hair. But let's get to the video. But okay, let's get back to the video. So basically, the question is where can I do my table course? Guys, as I've said, you search on Google TEFL course and you will find different types of school. It is expensive, guys. It's usually from a thousand rand or from 900 rand if it's on discount to like 3,000 to 4,000 rand. But also, please make sure you do read the reviews uh, from other people as well. I know when I wrote the test, it was out of 100. It's basically your grammar and etc. and etc. and etc. in English. Number two, how is it easy for you to get um a shot a shot is it easy, easy for you to get employed um it's not easy guys it's like when you're applying for your normal employment you know and that's how it goes some schools they have three different types of interviews you pass that one you pass the demo session and then the last one it's like no we will not continue with you or whatsoever even myself with seven years of experience i do apply for school and like more than 20 schools have declined me so just because five schools have declined you don't give up just continue applying there will be a school that will finally find English finally accept you so you will not get um, employment immediately it's like any other sector guys any other city you apply 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 so some schools have three um, interview process and some just have two which you have to make a demo in front of the in front of the video and like you have to introduce yourself okay i'll i'll just make as if i'm doing a demo hi my name is tombi i am from south africa from a very small city called port elizabeth and basically i do have a TEFL course i do have a qualification tourism management and logistics and five things about myself i love reading i'm a book fanatic i'm a sport fanatic and i love meeting new people so basically that is about me i i, I have <laughs> okay don't do that part i have taught adults and children but i do prefer, like sometimes i always say to you don't say you do prefer adults just in case the school just does kids you start somewhere i started with kids and teenagers now i just do adults period period so another question is how much does online teaching pay you it depends per school some schools are three dollar per hour five dollar per hour uh, 15 10 eight dollar per hour but the best is from ten dollars 15 23 dollars per month that's basic but if you can get your own students you set your own ratings and i as you know if you get your own clients your own student it is better compared to the school because basically the school is like the middleman and um what else um hey what else you guys want to do what else but that's how much you do get paid and obviously it's in it, it depends which school you're in like the one that i use is actually all of the schools that i've taught for they have been using dollars so obviously you have to change it back to south african um rands and let's say you get like um 800 dollars then you have to change it to south african dollars but what they do is usually we use paypal 
um, that's an app that they use or that school has their own app they pay straight to your bank account and some schools use Western Union but I've never used that one I only do have experience in PayPal and um, the one which they say you they must get paid in your account some people also use um, you get it from PayPal from PayPal they you do you move it to your F&B account because F&B works well with PayPal so what you do is even if you go to the bank they won't know how to do it but you have to use your laptop in order to apply for it like to be able to do it on the app to be to transfer your money to your card but if you do one if you do need help basically you can google it how do you link your FNB account to paypal it's easy that's what i did but if you're really really stuck then i can help you if you're really 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 stuck then i can help you so basically those are the extra things that i can like um help you with if you are teaching kids it's good to have like your puppets your abc thingies and etc um so that you can be practical if you're teaching about an apple like this is an apple so basically you will put an apple so they could see what you're speaking about but that is an advantage when you're teaching adults you don't have to do that some people the other options that they do do is that they'll rather go to overseas to go teach english online not english but not english online but they'll go teach english because it pays more money people it depends which school that you're in i have friends who have gotten paid 20k 30k 40k 50k it depends on which school which is better because you get a nice little sum of money in south africa i've had friends and like i've been working with since these past seven years and you can make if you really really push which you're not going to have a life you can make like plus minus 30k 25k um 15k and it's, it, it just depends on you guys the more hours you put the more money you make so the more students you get the more money you make so it's it's like that if you don't put any hours if you don't teach you won't make any mula so that's how it is people think it's actually as easy as oh it's english we just speak 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 but no actually it's actually harder than you think you need to be disciplined you you can't be like okay i'll teach and then watch netflix you have to be disciplined to work your hours do it and sometimes you feel like just going to the office and working for someone else it's much more easier so you want someone who is disciplined who loves it if you do not enjoy it like the kids even the school kids see through through you and it won't be worth your time so guys that's about it that's about it um let me go um finish cleaning my house <laughs> finish cleaning my house please do like share subscribe and please do watch and don't ask me the same question thank you you're amazing i cannot thank you for so many subscribers until we meet again